Alright, so, um, we're here investigating this asylum, and now we're suddenly blocked in the closed ward because someone is hypnotizing us, so that apparently we are now delusional. And for some reason that is something bad, I don't know. Now I regret the fact they make these things so sturdy. Hmm, is there something behind this plate? If only I had a wrench. Ugh, I really need to get out of here. Clean side, okay. Dirty side. Oh my god, the noose in my face. Someone had a lot of free time. There's something in the mattress. Soap, useless against a heavy metal door. I can cork the sink if I need any water. Now it's freezing cold and full of soap. What now? Foil is pretty thick. Okay. Um. Dirty side. Now I read the. F yeah, yeah. Now I read the. Make this so sturdy. Looks oh. like. You and me share the same fate, detective. You see, they locked me in here four years ago, after the fire, accusing me of the whole thing. Such injustice. What if I told you it was Kreitz who played dirty back then? <laughs> She'd do anything to save her and Professor's reputation. What if I told you Robin is here? I'm sure you're eager to meet him. Here, take this and be a detective. Okay. Thanks, dude. I actually trust him more than the staff of this place. Lock mechanism is based on gears. One of them is gone. Uh, let's see here. I met Zed, he gives me the chills, blah blah blah. Oh, here we go. While in an orphanage, Ginger was blamed for something her friend Robin did. That's why she was put in the asylum. George doesn't trust us, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Good, okay. Uh, long spring and bone knife. What's the rope doing here anyway? Oh, okay, someone just like casually hung a wrench outside. Bar looks rusty and brittle. Cool. Ah. Oh, good. We have matches. Now we can be a permaniac. Bring me my metal souvenir, and I will give you something in return. Oh. Okay. Let's put this dirty gear in. Oh no, wait a minute. We can actually clean it over here. Yay! Ooh, clean gear. Move the token and reach its slot. The gear is touched by token, blah blah blah. Yeah. I know. Played these games before. Um. Here we go. Well, dress. I was almost right, but not really. Wait a minute. No. Knee of our mind. There you go. Professor said the only way to cure Zed is through hypnosis. I hope he won't try it with me. Oh yeah, there's that's the thing in the painting. Weird souvenir. 
Okay, I hope this is good. Why, thank you, detective. I can see you're so eager to get out of here. Here, have fun. Oh. Really? You're sitting in there with a stick of dynamite? Hello? Owen, is that you? Ah! What do you... No! Dear Lord. No! Owen! Watch out! I need to get out of here. Now. That scared me. <laughs> Firecracker. Nope. I guess we're going out the clean side. Ledge. Okay. It's not that high, right? I don't want to die. Ha, oh, we're holding the knife. Careful not to avoid Gordon's fate. Ward day room. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, we dropped the knife. Okay. Right. You need to find her. I'm about to. This is not happening. This is not happening. Please, calm down. Please don't hurt me. It's all right. No one is going to hurt you. I need your help. Please go and find Dr. Kreutz or Nurse Ashley and tell them to call for help. Okay, okay, I'll do that. Okay, good. Don't sit there with sharp glass, dude. I spoke to Kreitz. She's hiding something. I you tried think? to convince pigs to let me into their archive to check. Oh, my head. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do that. Don't go unconscious on me, dude. All right. Now we can go into the day room or whatever. Oh no! Oh. If only I got here sooner. Ah, pigs. What's the next one? Hey, I see you there. We haven't had this detective in a while. Uh, there's one thing left. What could that be? There we go. Alright. Owen and the nurse are arguing about something. Pigs opens the cabinet and suddenly loses it. He charges at Owen and punches him hard. Owen pushes Pigs back with both his legs. The nurse crashes into the wall. Owen pulls out his gun and tries to reason with his opponent. But the nurse doesn't care. He rips an extinguisher off the wall. Owen fires a warning shot and hits the lamp. He fires at the extinguisher. The nurse throws it at Owen. Owen accidentally fires at the electric block. He then drops to the floor, unconscious. The killer appears. And stabs the nurse almost instantly. He left Owen alive, but why? All right, new objective is going to the archives. Will was killed by the hypnotist right after trying to kill Owen. He was used like a puppet. Definitely was. He had no chance. Hero saves lives. Nurse Will Pigs saves many from fatal danger. Oh, you see his eye there. Okay, so he's a bit, a bit of a hero. Cabinet key. Here we go. Actually, want to check out this doll first. It says useless. So maybe he wasn't such a hero. Sedative X administration. Despite government's disapproval of Sedative X, the drug has to be administered to violent patients. Dr. Claudia Kreutz. Looks like Kreutz didn't care that her drug could be dangerous. No, I'm pretty sure she didn't. Oh, I was lucky not to fly straight through it. 
lock is busted. Maybe some shock therapy therapy will do the trick. I'm not sure this is a typical mental asylum equipment. Taser. Yeah, it's like batons and stuff. What are they doing? Hitting people? Archive. Instructions for prototype photo printer 2000. One, keep humidity and temperature monitored. Two, photofilms are to be inserted correctly. Three, use the knobs gently. Four, print only important materials. Here's a board with some random notes attached to it. Uh, typical duct tape. Some f microfilm. It's a photo from Zed's therapy. Crow did try hypnosis on him. One of the controls is gone. I saw it somewhere. The controls are gone. Uh, we still have the taser. We have a ruler too. I don't have time to run through all of these. Fire report number 431-1950-07. Uh, the fire could not be contained due to mull function of the main anti-fire system. Manual start of the system had not been initiated. So the official report states there was no arson. Hmm, I wonder. Expenses July 1952. Total expenses. Payroll $812. Energy $253. Utilities $52. Heat $121. B Hall $1000. B Hall. He's the main fire department inspector. That money could have been a bribe. Could indeed. Being a bribe. Um. Yeah, I'd like this control, please. Nope. Okay, fine. Um. I'm in the day room. No. Could be fun, but no. What am I thinking? <laughs> uh. Looks like pigs managed to close the vent. Sloppy. I just need to undo the screws. With my ruler. Ooh. Alright, so we're up here again. Whoa, what happened? I need four of those. Oh, okay, I clicked something. It was like, why did the card fly up there? Uh, I can't tell what's beneath the dirt. Here we go. File. Scalpel. We've gotten almost everything here by now. We've like cleaned out the place. Good. We got a file. Um. Oh, okay. Cool. We got a knob so we can go back to the archive. Let's see if we can. A successful treatment, or was it? It's Ginger, escorted to the asylum by a policeman. It's Gordon. A photo from the day the fire took place. Claudia's palms are in bandages. What happened back there? It's the fire department inspector. Looks like they are sealing a deal. Is that a hidden safe? Maybe I can zoom in on it. I should print this picture. It might be useful. Yeah. I can use it to access the safe once I find it. Yeah. You're going down, Claudia Kreutz. Alright, so what do we do now? We stay in here. Here we go. Here's the safe. There's no electricity. Well, that's bad. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a taser. Yeah. Alright. What? Still no, electri still no electricity? There we go. Turn the safe knob left or right to enter the code. When you complete the sequence, the safe will unlock. Okay, so left. Turning it left like this, right? Yeah. Right, too. Left seven. Left one. Uh, 
Oh, left one. Right side. What? Left five. Oh, this was left left. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. I'm sorry, Claudia, but this is unacceptable. Zed was my patient and I should take full responsibility for his actions. Bribing the fire department investigator and covering Gordon's behavior is not what I expected of my brightest student, Professor Crow. Crow confirms that Claudia bribed the inspector. She wanted to save her and his reputation. I heard someone scream downstairs. Will you go check on it? I'll try to help your partner. Thank you. Dr. Kreutz, please wait. What is going on? Save Kreutz? I don't know if I want to do that. Kreutz bribed the asylum fire investigators. Gordon was drunk during the fire and could not fix the broken sprinklers. Crow let Zed free. That makes them all responsible for Ginger's death. Ginger's mysterious friend Robin is the killer. He somehow obtained Zed's outfit and is on a vengeful killing spree in the asylum. Oh, okay. I, I don't know how we know that, but apparently we know that. So that's cool. Ooh, we get to go into the burnt part. Dr. Kreutz, please wait! Act six. Take this. They're barely holding, but I can't squeeze through my drip stand. Heavy beam looks like it'll fall any minute. It just needs a little push. Yeah. I won't get through. I need something to pick this out. Burnt generator. High voltage. Okay, this is all we get. Cool. Looks like dried blood. Did someone get injured here? Can't work without all the lenses in place. Okay. Well, the batteries is missing and. Huge container? He's helping to pick this out. Oh, here we go. Tweezers. Now we can go pick all the lenses. I bet this was also Gordon's workplace. A lens. Another lens. You need a battery though. We're in the right place apparently. <laughs> Here we go. There was a the battery. Okie dokie, move the lenses and guide the beam between the beacons. Beams cannot cross each other. Yeah. Um... Okay, now we got full lighting here. Burnt corridor. There used to be a fire extinguisher. Oh, I'm not touching those spider webs with my bare hands. I can tell you guys the spider web does not taste good, especially not even if you eat it with blueberries. I can see Claudia, I need to get in there. It's a burnt room. Why does it have to be so dark in here? It won't stay open this way. Is that a chapel? Kreutz is inside. That's a hinge. That's what I thought it would be. Where is the head? Bear is missing an eye. Needle and thread. There we go. Now got an eye there. Oh, there are like two bows in here. What? Gloves. It's a shoehorn. It was like almost a crowbar, but not. 
Can we use the shoe horn on the door? Nope. Hmm. Again, I am where I want to be, but I don't really know why. Oh! Here's like an axe. Yeah. Now we can get in here. Okay, she's out. Cold-ish there. More photo pieces here. I guess all the rest ones are here? No. Not all of them, but almost. Those must have looked lovely before the fire. This is where we found little Ginger's body. She was like a daughter to me. A daughter I never had the chance to have. All I wanted was to see her face once again. Just this once. Okay. Please, the locket is the last thing that remains. So you all love Ginger. Is that size of X? Did Claudia take all those pills? Okay, dear. Okay. So they all love Ginger, but still she had to die in a way. Okay. No. Oh, I saw a Hinabi team. Sparkles! Brand new and unsharpened pencil. There we go. Ah, now we can do it. Cool. Pretty sure Claudia shouldn't take all those sedative X. Should, should she? Snowflake. Snowflake. Ah, I found you! You thought I wouldn't, but I did. Glue will surely help us light up the situation, Dot. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand if it. Wait. I don't understand if it's the chapel or the burnt room. I'll pretend it's the chapel. <laughs> It's a miracle the bulbs are still in place. Oh, nope. It's actually, it was this room. It was a burnt room. Ah. Here we go. Now we can switch on the light. Nothing here, but it looks like someone's workplace. Here we go. I was like, does this rotate? Uh, of course it does. Hmm. That looks kind of creepy. Actually. I see how it fits. Okay, cool. I guess we need glue? Yeah. <laughs> Super glue. Ginger looks happy in this photo. It will go well with the other half. Oh, I see. Here you go. Ginger was not supposed to be here. She was fine. Professor Crow wanted to sign her off. But I didn't let him. I made her stay until that fateful day. I'm not sure how the fire started. But I know it was Zed's work. He's a dangerous person. Professor Crow tried to stop him. It was too late. 
He had already won. Poor little girl. She ran in the wrong direction. Deeper into the east wing. The pumping mechanism malfunctioned. Gordon tried to restart it manually. He lost two of his fingers trying to help. Will was ordering the evacuation of the female ward. It was chaos. He saw Ginger. But before he could react, a fire extinguisher exploded nearby. Will lost an eye that day. Ginger ran into our chapel. She was petrified of fire. The old ceiling gave in. I tried to save her. I didn't care about the fire. I didn't care about anything. I did all I could. Will pulled me away when the fire kept on spreading. Sedative X was considered dangerous because it may be lethal in large doses. There's nothing you can do for me. Don't beat yourself up over this, detective. Do something I couldn't and stop him. For good. Wait, Dr. Kreutz? Claudia? She's gone. It was that? I found Will. He's dead. What is going on here? Is Mrs. Kreutz... Is she... Oh no... I... I moved the patients to the West Wing. They should be safer there. I need you to help my partner. He's injured pretty badly. We can move him to our sick room. I can help him there. Thank you. We'll come back for Dr. Kreutz once this is over. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused by the story right now. What? Okay, uh, we're, we're way over time. Because we're having too much fun. So we'll take a break here and be back next time. And I, I'm confused. This is awesome. So, I'll see ya.